Hello. Good evening, Eric. How are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are good you? Good evening. Well, I'm fine. That's I'm great. Good. That's great. I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, here, ready for the class. Ready to see what's up okay. tonight. What about you? How's everything? How was your day? Uh, I'm fine, teacher. Eh, eh, salí temprano como salí temprano del trabajo I left my job early I left my job early I left my early oh really yeah. what, what time did you left your job Yes. At what time? A qué horas? Uh, the four, uh, four, uh, forty-five. Oh, okay. Four forty-five. That's nice. That's yeah. nice. Okay. And at what time did you get home? ¿A qué hora llego a casa? I guess Eric is having problems with the connection. Don't worry, Eric. We will talk later. Lady, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? That's okay. How's everything? How was your day? Uh, I um, I was creative exam. Okay. Grading exams. Haciendo exámenes, creando exámenes. Oh, creating, creating, I'm sorry. Creating exams. Okay, that's cool. And now I was to the gym. Uh, washing my clothes. Wash my, my clothes. Oh, really? Doing the laundry? Doing the laundry. Doing the laundry. Yes. How was your day? My day, well, interesting. Let's say interesting. Because, you know, let's see, in the afternoon, two of my co-workers didn't attend, so I had to cover for two. Did you get me? Creo que tengo problemas de internet. Okay. Porque no le entendí. Let me check my microphone, okay? Let me check my audio settings. Let's see. Now. Now I can. I see. I see. It's okay now. Okay. So I was telling you that two of my co-workers were absent today. 
So I have to cover for them. Two co-workers of mine didn't go to my job. They were absent. I don't understand, teacher. Do you want me to text it? Let's see, let's see. Okay. Two of my co-workers. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Two of my co-workers were absent today. I have to cover for them. Oh, yeah. They... I, I wa estuvo pesado, hard. Yeah, it was hard. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, but you know, I mean, that's, uh, okay, I got another phrase for you. <laughs> Occupational hazards. Occupational hazards. Gaje del oficio. What does it mean? Oh. <laughs> ya está acostumbrado. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's normal. It's normal. Okay. Okay, well, lady. Welcome to the class. Nice Thank having you, you here. No, thanks to you. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Julio. Hello, Julio. How are you? Good evening. Hello. I'm fine. How are you? I'm just great. Just great. How are you doing? Are you doing better? Yes. Oh, that's great. Awesome. So glad to hear it. Mm. So glad to hear it. And tell me, how was your day? No, I'm fine. As as all as as always, with a lot of trouble to my job. A lot of trouble. You mean the the yeah. regular stuff? Oh yeah. Yeah, nah, nah, I know what's that. As I was telling lady, occupational hazards. I mean, <laughs> guy had a little easier, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the day is over. The day is over and that's what matters. I mean, you can relax a little bit. Yeah. Okay, Julio, nice having you here. And tell me, uh, what time did you finish working? At 5 p.m. At 5 p.m.? Okay. Yes. But you work close to your house. Yes. Yeah, uh, so, um, yeah, tell me. Uh, but after after my work i i go to the gym or oh, some some days i go to the go to work oh really so you went to the gym today yes oh really what did you work uh, chest chest just chest and I don't know how how do you say uh, triceps bicep triceps triceps 
Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I do when I work chest. I work tricep. Okay, how much are you lifting on chest? When when I on the initial when I begin. Yeah, when, when I begin. When I begin in the. Come on. In the bench, plan. yeah. In, in the, the bench, yeah. In the bench, uh, I I live a a a hundred. A hundred per side. A hundred per side. No, a hundred total. A total. Okay. Well, that's that's weight. That's weight. I mean, you got forty five and five. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a little bit. It's heavy. That's great. So you're gonna be big soon. <laughs> yeah, I like working chest, but it hurts. Oh uh, yes, it's it so really hurts. Hard. Uh, I like to to do leg. Oh, For really? Me? Yes, uh, I like. No, I, I prefer to do chest instead of legs, but I ha I do legs uh, twice a week. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I do legs on Mondays and Fridays. Today I did, let me see, today I did, uh, hmm, I don't know how to say this in English. Uh, I did uh, biceps back no shoulders and the other one is trapeze out yeah so i well actually i did it like this i did i did uh, shoulders trapeze and bicep That was today. Yesterday I did, let's see, yesterday I was doing back and and a little bit of bicep at the same time. I was mixing it. And let's see, Tuesday I did, no, Monday. No, yesterday I didn't go. That was Tuesday, Monday I did, uh, what did I do? I don't remember. I'm too old. I forget. My memory is too short. Yeah, but I, it's nice. It's nice to exercise. But man, sometimes it's hard. Oh, yes. I, I did leg uh, on Monday. And I'm going to do on Saturday. Oh. Because I go to the gym. Sometimes I go to the gym six days. Oh, that's cool. No, that's why I have to work different, many different muscles the same days because I just have time four days a week. I don't have time on weekends. Weekends, I got a uh -huh. full schedule. Mm -hmm. I like I like doing legs, but uh, right now the, the, the instructor is changing me the routine. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in legs, I was doing squats squats uh sentadillas i was doing squats mm -hmm. with uh let me see that's uh, 90 and 5 95 180 with 200 200 i was doing a squats with 200 but now they're gonna change it a little bit so it's gonna be it's gonna be fine but you know in my case it's so sad because I I do a lot of weight with legs and my legs are like this. <laughs> and I work them and work them and work them and they're still like this. Oh, it's sad, sad. It's depressing. Hey, Julio, nice talking to you. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Ruth, hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh-huh. Ruth, yesterday I was missing you a lot. 
Okay. Yeah, but that's that's important that you were able to at least to participate like that. That's great. That's great. And tell me, how's everything? Uh, okay, thank you. How was your day? I read the life. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Michael, for work. Really? Todavía está incapacitado. Oh my gosh, so a lot of work. Yes, teacher. Yeah, but uh, you know, I got uh, let's see, I got two co workers today with a leave of illness. So, oh my gosh, it's crazy! Mm -hmm. But tomorrow is payback, tomorrow I'm going to the dentist. Oh my gosh. Uh... <laughs> I hate going to the okay. dentist. <laughs> it's one of the things that I hate the most. It's so terrible. I get okay. scary. I get scared. But uh, yeah, but you can you can turn off your camera. Okay. And perhaps, yeah, no problem. I understand. I understand. Well, Ruth, yeah, that happens. You know, the internet has been crazy since yesterday. It's hot. Well, for me, every day is hot. <laughs> so yeah. I don't feel it like fresh like nothing I don't know if it's gonna rain if it's gonna rain it's gonna be crazy because we got all the, in, the all the today in, was the laundry of the of the how do you call it the all the blankets are hanging right. oh. uh -huh. no <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I was telling you that we got uh, all the blankets uh -huh. hanging today because today was laundry mm -hmm. day. So it's going to be crazy if it rains. But it would be okay. good. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's the time okay. for the first rain, so. Yes. Uh, aquí creo que sí va a llover más tarde porque salió el jardín que lo estaba regando y cuando oh, se apaga God. la manguera God. está God. haciendo God. mucho viento y está haciendo una inundación. Well, yeah. let's see. Probably. Let's see what happens later. Let's hope it doesn't mm -hmm. affect our classes. Yes, teacher, porque de repente empezó a pisotear mucho esto. Del, yeah, del yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Welcome to the class, Ruth. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Walter. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? I'm fine, fine. And tell me, uh, 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 how was your day? How's everything? I have a good day. I go out of my office today. Oh, really? Yes. I went. I went. I went. Yeah, because I it's went. the past. The past of go. Oh, okay. really? And how was this? Yes. How was the work in the office? Uh, I working in the other office. And the lake uh, Ilopango. Ilopango Ilopangos, lake. Ilopango's Lake. Ilopango's Lake. Yes. Oh, really? Yes, I visit it. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, place, the lake. Okay, that's nice. Yes. I relax on my little <laughs> of the office, of the traffic. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, that's cool. 
that's yes. cool when you have the chance to do something like that i mean as you say relax a little bit unwind i mean get rid of some stress because yes, the, yes. the noise the city the traffic and everything yes yes the accident <laughs> yeah yes this is it's good it's, 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 uh, when uh, uh it was a nice day today yeah. I'm a little tired, but tired, but it's it's a good day. Okay. Okay. Walter, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Guys, let me get the attendance so we can get rid of that process. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Thank you. Oh, there's Ana Marlene. Thank you, Ana Verónica. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present, teacher. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Diana, 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 no here yet. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Oh, there's Eric. Thank you. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Present teacher. Thank you. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Marjorie Angeli Cardón Granillo. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Well, let's see who's next. Uh, 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 um, hmm. Carlos, Miguel, hello. Good evening. How are you, mister? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, okay, that's great. And tell me. Um, um what about the day? It is my it, it is my day off. Uh I'm I view I watch TV all day and and sleep one moment. That's cool. Yes. <laughs> it's great. Tomorrow, tomorrow going go go to work. Tomorrow go back and to work. Go back to work. Yes. Uh, and uh, and and see and tomorrow. Uh, it's. Uh, it's a, uh, uh, a very easy day. Oh, really? The, the class is suspend. It's suspend class. Oh, really? Yes, I live, uh, I work in Sanger. <laughs> Where? I live, I work in Sanger. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Alert from Volcano. Volcano. Volcano, uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Cuidado. <laughs> you gotta yes. be careful. Watch out for, you know, those uh, things are like que... crazy. <laughs> no, creo que solo es, es así una media fumarola. No. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, let's hope so. You know, it's funny. I never watched the news. So I never, I didn't even know that it was like that until uh, like two days ago. It's beautiful explosion, volcano. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> yeah, from, from very, very far away. Far, far, far away. Yeah. Because from close up, no <laughs> way, Jose. That's no good. Hey, Carlos, nice having you here. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Clelia Estela. Hello. Hello, Clelia. How are you? Fine. And tell me, how's everything? How was your day? Uh... Today was a quiet day, the usual. Okay. In this case, you don't say a quiet day. You say a calm day. Calm. Calm, calm day. Oh, really? Yes. That's good or bad? How do you like your days? Calm or move? How Excuse do you me? like, how do you like, a usted como le parecen mejor, your days? Calm or moved? Calmados o movidos? Uh, more. Moved. Yeah, me too. Sí, día. Yeah, yeah. I understand you totally. Today, the weather was killing me in the morning. It was very hot. And I was like, uh, almost falling asleep. Uh-huh. That's nice. That's nice. What time did you finish working? Mm, finish at uh, 5 p.m. Finish at 5 p.m. Okay. What time mm -hmm. did you get home? Um, 5 uh, 15. 5.50. Yes. Okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So you did a good time. So you've been like resting. You had dinner already? Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Do you drink coffee with your dinner? Yes. Oh, that's great. That's great. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, we must. I mean, coffee is mandatory for dinner. Well, for breakfast, even more. And todavía tomando café. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me. Today I suffered. Today I just had, I have had just four cups of coffee in all day, in the whole day, just four. Uh, I mean, that's bad. Because I, us us usually I take like six or seven. No, you know, you got tanto. Three or four. Three or four. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, but <laughs> I love drinking coffee, man. I enjoy it. How do you take your coffee? ¿Cómo? How do you take your coffee? ¿Cómo se lo toma? Um, um... Black with sugar. Uh, with sugar. Okay. How many tablespoons? Mm -hmm. How many tablespoons? ¿Cuántas cucharadas? Uh, well, how many spoons? One, mm. two, just one. Okay. One, one. To be honest with you, man, I cannot take it like that. For me, it must be black. Um, I okay. don't like that. No, in my case, if I take it with sugar, I feel it like, uh, I'm not used to it. I'm really not used to it. And in my house, everybody takes it black. And my mom also takes it black. My dad. So we don't use sugar. Uh, con razón. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I never got used to. And you know, my 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 nephew, he was taking it with a little spoon. El sobrinito con una cuchara estaba taking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was so terrible. In the family. Yeah, we drink coffee a lot. It's nice. <laughs> Okay, welcome to the class. Nice having you here, Clelia. Thank you. Let's see who else is around. I still got time. Yes, yeah, still got time. A few minutes. <laughs> Irving, are you able to participate? Hi, teacher. Hello, Irving. How are you? I just arrived with my uh, two. Okay, I'll give you a few uh, minutes if you want. I'll give you a few minutes if you want. Le doy unos minutos si gusta. No, no. Okay, so tell me, tell me. Hey, yesterday we were missing you here in class. Sí, uh, I'm sorry um, for not connecting. Uh, but um, yesterday, Thursday, uh, intense and crazy days uh, for... Uh, visit market to manager, regional manager. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, uh, Thursday, Thursday um, go home uh, nine nine p.m. No, ten p.m. Wow, heavy days, heavy days. Yeah. Uh, today, uh, I I have um, can can't name. Okay, that's great. That's great. Después del susto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because. But, bueno, aquí estamos listos ya. But we are ready. Perdón? But I am ready. I am ready now. But I am ready. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Irving, nice having you here. Welcome. Welcome to the class, okay? Nilton, hello. Thank Good evening. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Well, perhaps... Perhaps Nilton is busy. Sorry, teacher, sorry. Oh, Tell there's me. Nilton. Hello, how are you? Uh, I am fine. I am a right uh, the university. Oh, really? I am just arriving. Okay, I am just arriving. Okay, how was your day? Uh... Today is complicated day uh, because I write much reports for my my, my jefe, como es? boss for my boss for my boss. Uh, entonces fue complicado. <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, I understand you. Well, mister, it's so nice to have you here and tell me, uh, well, tomorrow's Friday. Tell me, how are Fridays usually in your workplace? Are slow days or are they are heavy days? Uh, it's a heavy days. They are uh, heavy days. Yes. Tomorrow in my 
factory sería en mi empresa cómo es sería yeah company en my company is they eh, the día de de choris van a dar chorizos choris eh, choris de esos de que vienen en la calle a todos <ríe> well enjoy yeah Enjoy, enjoy. I mean, it's food. Uh, yesterday, I we were talking. Ah, man, if you talk to me about junk food, I'm good for that. Se trata comida chatarra. I am good for that. I love it. <laughs> so, enjoy it, my friend. Hey, Nilton, welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Look, due to the activities we have assigned for today, uh, the homework that you have, well, actually, you had two homeworks. One was uh, exercise five and six. Do you remember? Some of you sent them. Algunos de ustedes ya me lo enviaron. And I am checking. Uh, that's great. And the other one that was the instructions to get to a place. I will need it for you to write down the instructions and send them to me. Please. If one member of the group can send it, I will really appreciate it. So I can check how do you do it. And I will send the corrections back. Now, let's see, we got, uh, well, we got many things to talk to, to work with tonight. And let's see, today we're going to talk about hmm, something that is very interesting. We're going to talk about a... Accidents at home. Everybody, you know, uh, all of us can have an accident anywhere, right? I mean, walking down the street, you trip, you fall, you can you can break something. I mean, it happened to me. And sometimes at home, we don't realize the stuff that we have that could be dangerous for us. And tonight we are going to be talking a little bit about that. Now, this topic, we are going to develop it in different stages, okay? First off, we are going to work like this. I got two questions for you. What is the most dangerous thing in your home? How can your home be made less dangerous? Now, today we are going to add a little twist. You're going to be working in groups, but when I ask you, when we come back, I'm not going to ask you about your house. I'm going to be asking you about your classmate house. So you need to be taking notes about your classmates answers. Questions? Am I clear? Is there any question? No? Okay. I'm sending you the... The questions, I send them already to the group. And I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. You're going to be working in a small group. So two and three members. Groups are created. Let's see. And, well, let's do it. Let's see, let's check out the groups. Oh, Claudia Pineda. You couldn't get to the group, Claudia? Oh. 
What happened, Claudia? The kitchen. Veneno. Veneno para ratas. A ver cómo. What? Lento. Rat poison. Rat poison. Poison. <laughs> poison. <laughs> This is no your... tengo internet, dice esta cosa. Mm, but you are connected. Es lo más peligroso que tiene en su casa. ¿Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And the it's... mice in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. The mice in my kitchen. But I can't... I, I, had, I have to put it. ¿Cómo dice veneno, teacher? Poison. Poison, yes. Poison for the mice. ¿Really? Mm. Yes, I... last, last week. I don't have, I don't have, a, 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 I don't have mice. I don't have rats. That's so uh, cool. That's so cool I in my house. I hate that. I hate that. The, the house curtain. Yeah, you know, in my house, we don't have that problem. Because I don't live in the city, teacher. I live in the, um, how do you say it? Town. Town. Okay, I live in town. Okay. Hmm. Well, as each other, guys, I'll go check their other groups. Okay. House, uh -huh. in, in the house, three abuquero y... In the home, sería. Uh -huh. No, sería house, And porque sería house. la casa. Sí. Okay. In the backyard, in the front yard. A un lado de... En el patio, en, en, de la... Que pegado a la, a la cocina. <laughs> okay. In the yard. In the yard, yep. Yard? Yeah, the, the thing is this, look, you can say patio, but patio is the one that got a uh, 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 cement. Patio es el que tiene cemento. Mm -hmm. Yard is the one that is like plants or, or grass or something. Es el que tiene plantas o algo. That's the yard. Ah, okay. ¿Cómo era patio? Oh, ajá, patio, ¿cómo patio, the same word. Patio, así. Yeah, the same word, la misma palabra. Ah, um, okay. Y jar es donde está la grama y tierra. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay. Entonces. Airbnb, hello. Hello, teacher. You appear you are connected to a group. Me parece conectado en un grupo. Uh, yep, yeah, is is connecting my phone. Oh, okay. Never mind me. I'm gone. Okay. A ver.
Teacher. Yes. Licuado. Eh. Shake. ¿Ah? Shake. Shake. Eh, shake. Quiero, quiero, shake. Poner, quiero poner gas licuado. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought you were talking about food. Oh, liquefied. That's liquefied. 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 Liquid, liquidify gas. Okay. Liquidify gas. And the liquidify gas. Gas siempre se pronuncia gas, ¿verdad? Oh, okay. Yeah, gas, gas. Gas. Liquidify gas. And... Connections. Thomas. Okay, electrical outlets. Okay. Electrical electrical connection or elect uh, no. Electrical outlets. Outlets. Out, outlets. No, outlet. Ah. Outlet. Okay, guys, 60 seconds and we're coming back. Let's just wait a few seconds. Everybody's coming back. Okay, lady, tell me about your classmates. Uh, he's he's saying that um, no dangerous in your house. Okay, who who's he? Who who's he? ¿Quién es él? Um, Eric. You were working with Eric. So Eric, Eric doesn't, and doesn't Eric have. And Irving. Okay. They don't have. Eric doesn't have. Uh -huh. They have ambos. Okay. They don't have. They don't have. Continue. Continue. They don't have uh, nothing dangerous um, in your house. Okay, I will explain a little detail to you. 
Usually when we are using negative sentences, you're saying this, look, they don't have anything. They don't have anything. When the sentence is negative, you don't use nothing. You can say they don't have anything or you can say they have nothing. But you cannot say they don't have nothing because it's a double negation in the same sentence, okay? Okay. Uh, no. You got it? Se puede usar las dos, pero depende entonces, ¿verdad? No, no, okay. I repeat. The situation is this, look. Uh, you use you are talking about negative sentences in negative sentences you say i have nothing or you say i don't have anything okay what you cannot do cuando hablamos de oraciones negativas i'm sorry i will switch into spanish cuando hablamos de oraciones negativas okay usted puede decir i have nothing O usted puede decir, I don't have anything. El problema es que nothing es una negación. Ambas oraciones están diciendo exactamente lo mismo. I have nothing. Eh, yo tengo, no tengo nada. I don't have anything. No tengo nada. Ok. What you cannot do is to use don't and nothing at the same time. Lo que no puede hacer es utilizar don't and nothing al mismo tiempo because they are negative both. And that will be a double negation. That's not appropriate in English. Y eso no se usa en inglés. Okay? Is it clear, guys? Yes? Lady? Teacher, me fui. Es que tengo problemas de conexión porque aquí estaba lloviendo. Sorry. I ok, I'll make it short I'll make it short, lo voy a hacer corto eh, les decía usted puede decir I have nothing y puede decir I don't have anything ambas oraciones son negativas cuando usted utilizó el auxiliar para la negación I don't por obligación siempre va a poner anything, no puede poner el nothing porque esa nothing ya es una negación Entonces se convierte en una doble negación and that's forbidden. Y eso es prohibido. Um... Ok. So you say, I don't have anything. They don't have anything. Got it? Is it clear now, guys? ¿Se entendió? Yes. Ok. Thank, thank you. you. No, thanks to you. No problem. Let's see. Uh, Irving, tell me about one of your classmates, please. No, no entendí cuénteme de uno de sus compañeros what do they have that is dangerous mm -hmm. in their house ok um, lady talk no um, Julio creo que era uh, talk uh, the dangerous your dog his dog. His dog, sorry. His dog. And lady. And. No remember. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Okay, let's see. Next, 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 next. Uh, Rafael Antonio, tell me. Tell me about one of your classmates, please. Hey, teacher. I have, 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 I studied with Milton. Okay, tell me about him. 
Neto Said, eh, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Neto Said, eh, the most dangerous in, in your home. In his home. In his home. Eh, is, is, o, oh, oh, eh, whole, eh, es, is a way of hold. A what? A way de agua hold. Un pozo. Oh, a well. A well. ¿Cómo sería un pozo de agua? Sí, yeah, it's, uh, 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 it's a well. Nosotros lo dejamos como where it hold. No, 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 no. Un hoyo de agua. <laughs> no, but it's not that. Okay. No. Eh, yeah, and but you are not talking about that. You are talking about a uh, a uh, well, actually. It's just that what um, the well, 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 como I well, I will, no. Well, the same word that we used to say, bueno. Well. Oh, oh right. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, that's. This is his pozo, también. No, that's pozo. Ese es el que usamos para pozo. Y eh, cuando habla y dice, I well. Oh, I am well. Estoy bien. The same word is used in the two Easy. different situations. Ah, ah, ah ok. But Pero se escribe igual. Yes. Ah, it's, okay. just, it's just the context. Depending on the context, is that you are going to get the difference. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's the same word. Okay. In my in my case, um, uh, the the most dangerous is on tree avocado. Avocado tree. Avocado tree on um, on the yard. <laughs> in the yard. Oh yeah, an avocado tree. Yeah, they are dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> they are, they are. But they are delicious. Yeah, quiebra el techo, los abocatitos. <laughs> yeah, but they are delicious. Ah, pero son bien buenos, sí. Yeah, yeah, they are, man. Oh, avocados, man. Pero... Oh, guacamole. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I yeah. Love guacamole. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. something very special. Okay, thank you, mister. Okay, let's see. Um, Ana Marlene. Okay, perhaps she's busy. Oh, Jose Alfredo. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, there's Ana Marlene. Oh, okay, okay. Tell me about I one of your hear, classmates. I can hear well my classmates. Okay. Because I'm coming to my house. I just arrived yesterday. Okay, tell me about your house. What is the most dangerous thing you got in your house? I don't know how to say the cat in the kitchen. Oh, okay. The, 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 the gas. The, the kitchen, gas. the kitchen gas. The kitchen gas, okay. Yeah, that's dangerous. That's something we must be like careful with. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Thank you, Ana Marlene. Okay. Jose Alfredo. Hello, teacher. Tell me about Ruth. What's the most dangerous thing she's got? Uh, yeah. Uh, Herself. Glass window. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to tell me. Oh, ella es. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The window? Hmm. Glass window. The big glass window. Oh, really? Well, the... yeah, yeah. They can be dangerous. They can be. Once I smack my face in one of them, but I didn't <laughs> break. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a kid. I remember I was at my friend's house. And he had a big glass door for the backyard, and I smacked my head on it. I was looking at his sister. It was a, it was an accident. Okay, thank you, Mister. Let's see. I got, I got, I got time. Yeah, we still got a few minutes. 
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Clelia, tell me about Carlos and Walter. What are the most dangerous things they got at their house? Um, the, the Carlos is is eat the stairs in the hallway. Okay, yes, yeah, stairs, man, and those things are dangerous. The Walter, a well that is discovered. Okay, a well? Really? What? Yeah. Uh, those things are dangerous, particularly if they are deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember once I stayed in one like for three hours. Más me tocó estar en uno como tres horas. All the way down. Why? Uh, oh, because I was working, um, I was working uh, fixing and installing uh, pumps mm -hmm. for wells. So I was in a Cajutla, I remember, and I was very thin, so I was not heavy. And the problem was that the 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 tube broke, so the pump was down there. Se rompió el tubo y la bomba estaba hasta abajo. So I had to go all the way down in order to fix it. It was fun, believe me, so much fun. I yeah, but I mean. Professional hazards, professional hazards. Okay. Okay, let's see. Now, um, Carlos, tell me about Clelia. What's the most dangerous thing she's got? <laughs> um, Her pants when she uh, gets angry. Clelia, Las que has, se enoja. Clelia has a cat, but it's not so dangerous. A because cat. it's already... Vaccinated. Ah, vaccinated. Vaccinated. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I like cats. Cats Eso are cool. no era, era regalar al gato. Ah, no, demasiado cruel. What? Por eso lo cambia. Así se sigue más seguro la casa regalando al gato. <laughs> oh, really? No, don't do that to the cat. Cats are cool. I like animals, I like cats, I like dogs, but it's funny, I like big dogs, and in my house we got a little one, very little one. Uh. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Claudia, Claudia, tell me about Julio Aguillón. Julio, uh, Julio, uh, Julio. What's the most dangerous thing he's got? Uh, in su casa este, y, uh, near her house mm, their cable electric oh the electrical cables the electrical yeah cable and, and there are there is transformador oh really there wow. is mm -hmm, there is in in there are uh, ardillas, a lot of squirrels. A squirrel, and and sometimes that's la the squirrel, como se dice, en los cables que quedan. Que yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, they burn. They burn. Y, y no tiene luz, eso, eso yeah, se le va la luz. Yeah, yeah, electrical transformers are dangerous. Yes. En Ver Verónica, sí, Verónica. Voy a le cambié nombre. No, 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 but leave it like that, leave it like that, Claudia, ok? Mm -hmm. Julio, tell me about Verónica. Uh, Verónica. Julio, eh, Julio Ver I'm sorry, Claudia, Julio is going to tell me about Verónica, thank you. Ah, uh, Julio. Uh, he, she, he, she has a lot of trouble with the mice in the ki in her kitchen, <laughs> and the okay. solution was the rat poison. <laughs> yeah, and the poison is dangerous, the very poison. dangerous. 
Okay, that's fine. Veronica, tell me about Claudia's. Okay. Uh, Claudia told me uh, the most danger in her house is uh, a water basin. I don't know what to say, la pila. Okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, there's not think? a... There's not a word for that because they don't use that. Okay. Because it's a big and she has a children's oh, thing. Wow. And, uh, how can her uh, be made less dangerous? She has she has take so much care with with her children. Yeah, she's got to be very careful. Okay. Okay, yes. well. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let me get the second attendance because, believe it or not, time's flying. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present teacher. Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. <sighs> Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Present teacher. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. Thank you, Karen. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Marjorie Angélica Ardón Granillo. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Present teacher. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Present teacher. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present teacher. Okay, guys. Let me see, let me see, let me just check a little something. Just one second, please. Okay. Well, next activity. We're going to work with the manual. We're going to go to page number 25, directions and instructions. Well, we got a couple of questions there that are very interesting. Let me share with you the questions so you can check them out. And the questions that appear right at the beginning of the unit are these. What are some rules in your company? So let's talk a little bit, guys. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Rafael, tell me, can you tell me at least one rule from your company? Uh, please uh, repeat. What are some rules in your company? Are some rules. Rules, rules. Ah, rules. Yeah, uh, rules. Um, ¿Cómo sería vestir formal? Oh, formal, formal dressing. So you have a dress code. Yes. <laughs> um, bueno, es regla utilizar corbata, pero a mí no me gusta mucho porque siento que me fatiga. <laughs> you don't like wearing a tie. Is a uh, all roller is in ah 
uh, responsible responsibility uh, time 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 hora de entrada okay check in uh -huh. time check in time yes um oh Australia. Okay, no, that's, really. that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Fine. Thank you. Carlos Miguel, what about yours? Tell me, what are some roles in your company? Hello, teacher. Can you tell me some roles from your company? Um, uh, clothes uh, formal. Um, 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 the formal, uh, um, um bueno uh, the rules the rule for institution okay the rules for the institution okay perfect thank you clelia what about yours tell me what are some rules that you have to follow in your company please uh, uh no permiten estar Choose, choose open. Open choose. Open choose. Um, what do you mean by open choose? Like sandals? Yes, sandals. Oh, really? Hmm. That's For interesting. Florida. Okay. It is not allowed. It is not allowed. No se permite. O no es permitido. Okay. It is not allowed to wear sandals. Okay. Walter, what about yours? Tell me a little bit about your company. And wearing a, a mask is a rule in the oh, in the office. It's mandatory. Yes, yes. It's all the, all mandatory. The day. Okay. Oh, mandatory. It's so uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> it's very very difficult <laughs> yeah yeah tell me about it yes and the second is uh, no social gatherings okay no? yeah no social ga gatherings 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 yeah it's the, it's the other rule oh really hmm. yes that's interesting <laughs> yes <laughs> Yes. Well, every company, different rules, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, mister. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, I got space for two more. Lady, what about yours? Mm, nosotros básicamente no tenemos reglas. Say what? Uh... <laughs> We don't the... have rules. That's uh, so cool. Podemos vestirnos como, ajá, o sea, podemos llegar con zapatos tenis, con camisas, con camisetas, jeans. Tenemos principios contextianos. Okay, I got you. Mm. Okay, don't you want to switch jobs? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I got to dress formally sometimes, like, uh. <laughs> This is my work, um, the, my dreams. O sea, yeah. este es el trabajo it's de mis my sueños. dream job, my dream job. This is my dream job. Trabajamos en huevones, o sea, nos podemos acostar, podemos estar así como, ajá, uh -huh. no tenemos como jefe. You know, Heidi... With the with the deepest feeling from my heart, from the deepest, deepest part of my heart, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad of you. You know, everybody here is remembering about rules and everybody <laughs> thinking about like, this is not allowed. We have to do this and that. And lady says like, ah, no rules, whatever. Yeah. 
Solo quiero contar una cosita, una yes. cosita así. Talos, talos, talos. Llegó el director departamental de educación, ¿verdad? Entonces yo estaba en el huevón y estábamos preparando unos planes formativos de directores. Entonces yo estaba eh, acostada en el huevón, estaba eh, con la computadora y con un ventilador y estaba sin zapatos, solo con los calcetines y llega él y se queda. Y todos nosotros así como, vea. Y dice, no puedo creer de que de esta forma trabajan y estén creando unos planes de formación tan chivos. Y le dice el asistente, hey, necesitamos de esos huevones en el trabajo. Yeah, but it's so difficult. The Ministry of Education is very tight. Solo así surgen las mejores ideas. Yeah. Sí, sí. tenemos nuestras horas de autocuido y son como de caminatas, de hablar y son como mandar obligatorias que tengamos una hora de autocuido. Oh, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's that's that would be the only problem for me in your company. I'm not that much of a social animal, you know. I have that problem. Well, interesting. I, I don't know if I am glad of having asked you or if I am regretting having asked you. No sé si estoy contento de haberte preguntado o si lo lamento. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no, that's cool. Good for you. Good Me for too. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody's like, oh, sh Thank you, you lady. <laughs> you just made our night. Okay, guys. Now, let's continue. Uh, let me share with you. I'm not asking nobody no more. That's it. Okay. As you can see, these are the questions. What are some rules in your company? But now we are going to get to the to the conversation. This is a very simple conversation. We are going to do it like the regular way. Listen to me, read the conversation. Uh, the vocabulary is very simple. So the conversation goes as follows. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. I repeat. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company, and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, guys, let's see. I'm going to send you to the group so you can practice. You will have four minutes to practice and you're going to be practicing in groups, in the big groups you have, okay? So groups are, have been created. Let's see. And let's jump in.
I see. It's because of that. How 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 then? Of what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Happened. What happened? What happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company, and it is a no allowed. I understand. He can the values of our company, so there is no excuse, and also it is not allowed to sleep for hours. You are right. It is also to not allow it to you use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, mm -hmm. ahora, ¿cuál fue su And I start you, Mr. Sea. Mm, okay. Uh, good morning. because of what happened yes he was couch smoking inside the company and it is not allowed i understand he knew the evolution of our company so there is excuse and also it is no allowed to sleep in the workhouse you are right. There's also no other way to use the cell phone in work hours. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia la palabra la que está en el primer párrafo? Press, pressure. Pr oh. Pressure. No, no, hoy el teacher quizá. Procedures. I'm sorry, my microphone was off. Procedures. Procedures. Procedure, ok, continuemos entonces. Le pregunto a quién. Hi. Ok. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It is because of what happening. Yes, he was caught. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is it is not allowed i understand he knew the values of our company so values is, values oh, values okay Sixty seconds, guys.
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna be first? Who's gonna be first? Let's see, Claudia Pineda and Irving. Who is that? Claudia, you start. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I guess Irving. No, we hear everything but you. Eh, oímos todo menos usted. <laughs> Hello, mister. We hear everything about you. Escuchamos todo menos a usted. No, that's my microphone. Let me check who's then. Claudia, is yours? Oh, the little kiddos. Okay, let's start again. Claudia, please. Uh, okay. Hola, hola. Me escuchan? Yes. Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one second, mister. There you go. Okay, Claudia, you start. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with a new employee. Well, he cannot continue continue with use. I see. It is because of what happened. Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and and it is a no allow you. Hello. I understand. I understand. He he knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep. What else? You are right. It it is also the also not allowed. So, to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, thank you very much. Both of you. Now, let's see, uh, Ana Veronica, are you ready? Yes. Okay, Ana Veronica and Nilton. Ana Veronica, you start. Good morning, Mr. Cia. I want to know about the procedure with the new employee. <laughs> Uh, well, I cannot continue with us. I see. It is, is it because of what happened? Yes, I was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He needed rules of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. Perfect. You uh, are right. It's... Yeah, continue. Yeah. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in the work hours. Okay. Procedures. Procedures. And with us. Allowed, allowed. Now let's see uh, Rafael Antonio and Ruth Asensio, please. Okay, teacher. ¿Quién inicia? 
Uh, you, Rafael. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Seagal. I want to know about the pre pressure, uh, why the new employer? Procedures. Procedures. Procedure? Procedure? Procedures. Procedure. Okay. No, I meant. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedure why the new employee. When he cannot continue with you. With us. With us. I see. It's because of what happened. Yes, he was talking smoking outside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. Uh, also, it is not allowed to sleep in workouts. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in for your hours. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Clelia Estela and Eric Josué, please. Clelia, you start. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with house. I with see. Us. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was kind of smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. Uh, it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in the workhouse. Okay, perfect. Thank you. It is not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Perfect. Veronica Elizabeth Burgos and Ana Marlene, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Veronica, you start. Okay, sister. Good morning, Mr. Sa. I want to know about the processors with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. It is because of what happening. Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company, and this is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse, and also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to the to use the cell phone in work hours perfect thank you yes allowed allowed no. Carlos miguel and walter Ernesto, please okay good morning mr sia i want to know about the procedures with the new employee well, he cannot we, he cannot continue with us. Mm, I see. Is it because of the happening? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also it it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. Oh, oh. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in the work hours. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And 
José Alfredo and Julio Aguillón, please. Okay, teacher. Good start. Uh, you, Jose Alfredo. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to I want to know about the produce procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company. He is never allowed. I understand. He knew the value of company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowing to let me the work hours. You are right. This it is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, perfect, Lady Joanna. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of or company, so there is no, is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, if you see the expression, it is not allowed, it is used to express that something is forbidden, that is not permission for something happening or for some action to be performed, okay? Like it is not allowed, uh, smoking is not allowed in the company, uh, neither is allowed the use of cell phone. Okay, those are prohibitions, okay? Remember the expression, it is not allowed. You can y'all you can change the subject. Like if you are talking about your company, you can say, "Oh, we are not allowed to to get out of the company in working hours." Right? Well, everybody but ladies, she's got everything allowed. But we we are not allowed many stuff. Okay, guys. Now continue with the continue with the topic. Uh, well, before I move on. Is there any question about that expression? The it is not allowed? Alguna duda? No? Okay, perfect. Now we gotta continue with the with the topic we were discussing. Okay. Now continue talking about the accidents. I got a question for you and the question is this one what can be done to prevent kitchen accidents veronica what do you think what can be done to prevent kitchen accidents let me read teacher uh, what can be done to prevent Accident. Uh, we have to take care with the liquid gas. Okay. Uh, we had to prevent where is the knife? Put correct the knife or uh, use correct the microwave. No, uh, no, you, no, no. Yeah, because some part sometimes the person uh don't know how to use the uh, microwave. Me. Yeah. You you can put metal. Well metal. I never 
I never use it. Yeah, you can. I never use it, so I don't have that problem. Okay, okay. thank you. Yeah, you know, it's very hard. And I mean, when you are a parent, you wish to make it uh, childproof. You see? When we yes. are parents, we want to make it childproof and it's now hard. We have responsibility. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now, let's see, Rafael, tell me. Uh, what dangers can be found in bathrooms? What dangers can we found in bathrooms? What do you think? Uh, floor, floor, oh, wet floor. Wet floor. Uh -huh. Okay. That's one. Another one? Is um tal vez conectar algo de energía y electrocutarse. Ooh, yeah, electric hazards. Y de, tal vez una más de confundir agua caliente con agua fría si están los dos. Los dos tipos y tienen la maquinita de, de, de agua caliente. Oh, yeah. Also the connections of the... Sí, con esa yo tengo una historia allá en Guatemala porque mm, primera vez que yo veía un aparatito de eso, estaba acostumbrado solo a abrir la llave y oh. bañarme. Pero en Guatemala, usted abre la llave y ese es hielo el que le cae. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <ríe> Entonces yo recuerdo que estaba y, y el compañero estaba en la siguiente habitación y llega a tocarme la puerta porque yo hasta grité de lo helado que estaba. Y ¿Y qué, ¿Qué te pasó? <ríe> porque oh. fue un grito desfavorido por lo helado que me cayó el agua. Yeah, it's very después cool. me dijo, no, regular, dale una vueltecita acá, y, ta, ta, y ya me explico. Yeah, Ahí but le... you, gotta, you gotta be careful <ríe> with those things. Otherwise, uh, if you get it too hot, it's a problem also. Ah, oh, sí, yeah, sí, sí. Yeah, it is, it is. Okay, thank you, mister. Now, okay. let's see, Clelia. Hello. What dangers can be found outside the home or in the yard that can cause accidents? What are the causes? Yeah. Outside the home or in the yard? Mm -hmm. What do you think can could cause an accident in the yard? Uh, was a driver uh, no poner atención. No, uh, but we are talking around the house. Habla, estamos hablando uh, de, la, la, de, la, de la yarda, yeah. Um, ir este, en el teléfono. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's one, that's one. Now let's see. Um, Jose Alfredo. Hello, teacher. Same question. What dangers can be found outside the home in the yard that can cause accidents? Oh. Yeah, what could be there in the jar that could cause an accident? El que el corvo. Okay, the machete. Yeah, yeah. Eh, quiero ver también este. Eh, o oh, eh, oh, oh, objetos pesados, por ejemplo. Heavy objects. Yeah. For example, the, the, how do you call it? The bar. Yeah, some the gardening bar. tools, right? Eh, eh, también. So, la otra que te dije también. Ah, la, la, la po polisher. Creo que es pulidora, teacher. Polisher. Oh no, 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 no. Mm, yeah, but the polisher is the one that you use for the car, but the one you are talking about is a different one. 
I'll try to remember. Yo conozco la palabra. Just give me a few minutes to remember. Solo déjeme recordarla. Ok. Bueno, la pulidora en ese caso. Yeah. O el taladro. The drill. The drill. Ah, eso que cosas que se pueden dejar así a la vista. Yeah. Pues, provocado yeah. por accidentes. Tools or machinery. Ok. Yes. Ok, ok, no. That's fine, that's fine. Ok. Now we're going to keep on talking, but about the house. Ok, let's see, let's see. Uh, let me see what we're going to do. Okay, now we are going to talk about something different. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. I want you to think about one room in your house. Think about one room. Okay. Choose one room, the living room, the bathroom, the bedroom. Okay, the garage. Think about one, just one specific room. Think about everything that is there in that room. Because you are going to describe it to me. I'll give you a few seconds. Think about one room in your house and think about everything that is there because you are going to describe it to me, okay? Let's see. Carlos Miguel, are you ready? Um, yes, teacher. Okay, which room are you gonna describe? Uh, in my restroom, my, oh. my bedroom, sorry. Okay, <laughs> tell me about my your bedroom. bedroom. Um, it's color uh, beige, uh, um, um, como se dice ocre. Oh man, guys, you are you a man are asking me another man about colors? That's that's hard, you know. Uh, but in this <laughs> case, you are talking about mm. ah, right? It's, it's beige and red, red. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A, a uh, shade of red. Un tono yes. de rojo. Yeah. It's better. Yes. Um. Um. Uh, there, there is one uh, um, there is a wardrobe um, 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 a dresser in my bed. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Ana Verónica. Hello, teacher. Okay, which is the room you are going to describe for us? Mm. No, understand. No, no, entiendo. Okay, we are choosing one room from our house. Estamos escogiendo una habitación. Mm -hmm. From your house. Okay, pick one, escoja una, and describe it. Okay, okay. Well, <coughs> okay. 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 No, 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 no. I haven't written no instructions. No he escrito instrucciones. Usted escoge una habitación de su casa y me la describe. Ah. Eh... My bedroom. Okay, describe your bedroom. Uh, my bedroom is color pink. Okay, it's pink. You don't need to say it's color pink. Oh, you say, my bedroom pink. is pink. Okay. Okay. There is the table and chair in the bed in the in the room. At where I see. Como se dice ropero, clothing, clothes. A wardrobe. A wardrobe. Or you can say wardrobe. closet. 
Ajá, close. Que es el wardrobe que está en el message, aquí en el mensaje, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wardrobe. Ajá. Eh, there is a lamp. Okay. Ajá. Eh, espejo se dice, there is a espejo. Mirror. Ah, there is the mirror. Eh, there is the. Hay una zapatera. Okay. Eso. Thank you. <laughs> Now, next, let's see. Uh, 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 um. Walter, Walter Ernesto, describe one of the rooms from your house, please. Describe one room from your house. Okay. Uh, the living room. Okay. The living room is white. And I have um, one TV. Okay. Uh, one, see, one table. Um, a three co coach so far, yeah, three coach. Um, for the table, a uh, four chairs, okay, perfect. Uh, okay, and Thanks. the light, the is this light, two light uh, lamps. Lamps, lamps, eh, uh, no, colgantes. Oh, hanging lamps. Hanging lamps, yes, okay. two, two hanging lamps. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay. Now let's see. <laughs> Julio, describe one room of your house. Um, my bedroom. Okay, please. The bedroom is light blue. There is a closet, a TV, a night table, a coat, a TV, a bed for, and a, a phone. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see, lady, I got a different question for you. Lady. Yes. Okay, also talking about the house and talking about the rooms. What is your favorite room in the house? My bedroom. Okay, why? Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, there are four windows is second level uh, the landscape yes landscape el paisaje the landscape yeah or the view the view in that case the view la vista the view is fantastic oh. uh, I miss you my bedroom Okay, okay, perfect. Thank you. Irving, what about you? What's the favorite your favorite room in your house? My bedroom. Okay, tell me why. <laughs> I gotta sleep, you say. I talk my wife. Oh. Watching TV. Como se dice, tengo todo ahí. I have everything there. And you rest, I of have course. Day. Sorry? And you have, and that's the place where you rest. Y es el lugar donde descansa. Yeah, yeah. I watch soccer. Oh, okay, that's cool. 
<laughs> yeah, mm, uh, I have the, the bathroom and shower in the room. Okay, uh, excellent. That's enough. Thank you. Okay, now I got a very interesting question for you guys. This is a very nice question. I'm going to give it to you beforehand. What things in your home couldn't you live without? Sin que cosas? What things in your home couldn't you live without? Hmm. Let's see. I couldn't live without... Um, wow. My TV and the computer. Those are mandatory for me. The computer for working and the TV. Man, I love watching TV. Well, I don't watch it no more as I used to, but that's something that I, man, uh, I even have a TV in my bedroom. I, I watch TV whenever I got the chance. So let's see some of you. Let me ask some of you. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Who's going to be? Who's going to be? Who's going to be? Ana Marlene. What things in your home couldn't you live without? Sin que cosas no podría vivir en casa? I can live without my ham hamaca. Hammock. Hammock, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So you enjoy laying down in the hammock and resting? Yes. That's when I cool. cool, yeah. When I can. Uh, you know, I got two hammocks and that. Uh, I rarely use them. Me too. I have two. I have two. Yeah, but in my case, I rarely, yo rara vez. <laughs> but I love it. Yeah, it's not common for me. I don't, I never have time. So that's a big problem that I never have time. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Ruth. What things in your home couldn't you live without? Um, the kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen? Okay. Do you like cooking? <laughs> yes, teacher. Oh, that's and nice. Even some, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. No, you know... You know, in my house, that's something that we divide. We divide everything. Acá no repartimos todo. They cook, I eat. You see? 50-50. They cook here and I help them eating. So we got it like equal. <laughs> okay, guys. Hey, it was a very interesting class. Look, uh, for tomorrow, as something that I need to tell you is first the the... Uh, the platform, please don't forget it. Tomorrow we are going to work with uh, vocabulary. We are going to make like the review of the unit. We are gonna do a reading, a very it's a little long reading, so try to be on time because uh, it's gonna take us a little bit of time. We are going to analyze vocabulary. It's gonna be interesting, very interesting tomorrow. So please don't miss the class. Don't miss your minutes, okay? Let me get the final attendance because I see some of you are like just waiting for me to finish so you can jump into the bell. <laughs> Let's see. Ana Marlene Andrade de Osorio. Present teacher. Ana Veronica Hernández Rodríguez. Present. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present teacher. Thank you. And Clelia Estela Flores de Molina. Present. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Eric Josué Reyes Molina. Present teacher. Irving Otoniel Escamilla Guerra. Present teacher. Iván Alberto Castillo Alas. Present. Jocelyn Karen Meléndez Rivas. José Alfredo Hueso López. Present teacher. Julio César Aguillón Arevalo. Present teacher. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. 
Marjorie Angelica Don Granillo. Rafael Antonio Hernández Castillo. Ruth Guadalupe Asensio Arevalo. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Santos Claudia Pineda. Present. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, teacher. Walter Ernesto Pérez Galvez. Present, teacher. Okay, guys. A pleasure. See you tomorrow. Teacher, me. Nilton, See you. Nilton, Nilton, Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good one. See you, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night, guys. And Walter got frozen. So Walter, you're around. Oh, he's gone. Walter, you were supposed to stay.
Thank you. 